Hello everyone and welcome back to Firewatch. In the last part we started whizzing through the days. We went from like day 3 to like day 60 something I think. Uh, can't remember exactly what day it is but it's been a while now. Uh, we got attacked when we were out in the wild. Well I guess everywhere's in the wild here. But we got attacked. Uh, hit on the back of the head and the walkie that we'd found was taken. However it said uh, it led us to this this place, it had the name of the place, Wapiti, you can see it over there, uh, and yeah, we need to find a way in through this fence, so we've got to go find the firefighters that are out fighting the fire, who would believe it, and hopefully, if we are very, very lucky, they'll give us a hand. Let us have a look at the map, where are we actually aiming for? There's Wapiti Station, so we're there. Uh, campfire smoke. Uh, scout camp. Is that where she said they'd be? We've already done the supply drop. I think it must have been down there. So, which would be the quickest way, do we think? Probably if we carry on down here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll find our way. Hopefully Delilah will show up and uh, give us some hot tips. Ah oh, yes, the slowdown. Back with a vengeance. Now nobody come and cut this line whilst I'm climbing. Please? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so what are we saying? We're saying go right and then wrap around to the left. I think would be the best best course of action. Please no more jump scares. <laughs> uh oh, no, through here. Can we just can you just walk through the trees actually? Is this no, okay. Here we go. So, it was along this way. Nothing to talk about with them. Oh, cheeky bit of music to accompany us on our journey. Oh, hang on, east of the lake. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never nice. see that before? <laughs> uh, okay, so what are we... Hmm, how would we... I guess we need to go to this white path through here. And that also lets us get to cache 307. So, we need to head forward. We don't take the first right. We take the second right. Okay. Let's just keep going. Figure it out as we go along. Never was... A great map reader <laughs> in games. Normally, this one's this one's doing it okay. I don't mind the way this one's doing it. A lot of the time in games, when it's hey, I called around. I'll tell you in a sec. Seem normal with everyone else. Uh, yeah. Well, they would. They would. So we shouldn't call the cops. I don't think because we've lied about the girls. So has anything strange been happening on your end? Nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? <laughs> nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't that sound like nothing. does sound pretty it's strange. nothing, I promise. All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. Yeah. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. Listening what? in. Clearly. Yes. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios. That is exactly something. what was happening. They had literal Harry. transcripts. <laughs> it's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. 
I yeah, well, pretty sure it's worried. not that difficult. No. You just tune your okay. frequency. Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Okay, where am I now? Uh, so I want to take a right here and go along for a bit and then another right. Sounds good to moi. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like what feeling is this? vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. Uh, his dad sounded like he wouldn't, but he might enjoy it. Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies taking notes, walkie-talkies. Whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. <laughs> exactly. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine. He. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Stop yo worrying. Wow, there's an old um. I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. Huh. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel? Never heard of it. In the big horns? A Medicine I Wheel? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour hmm. on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Is anything worth a three-hour detour? Uh. Uh, 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 um, 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 which way? Does this actually... Is there a way through here? Oh yeah, there is. Uh, I guess this is where the controlled burn happened. Yeah. I hey, literally, controlled burn. burn. Hey, right I know my lingo. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks. There's someone in it. Well, that's good. I'm well, glad I'm they're extra appreciative of that. <laughs> oh, yay. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got I it. will be sure to keep that in mind. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Then it's not a controlled Someone burn. Gets fired. <laughs> yeah, that works. Ugh. Are you serious? Oh, no. I didn't even, oh, come on. I didn't even get the pun. Accident. Was it, though, I'm Delilah? That's how wound up all this shit has me. You're always in the mood for wordplay. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> Just one... What's that say? Just one stray match. Protect the forest. I like how when he pulls out his map to write on it here, it doesn't have all the markings he's made on it. That's a bit of a whoops. What did that add? Paths down here? Yeah. What's that mean? Is that a fence there or something? Oh no, that's where the burn happened, I guess. Okay, we actually came in at a different point to where I was thinking. So that's there, so we need to go around the corner and then head left to get Cash 307. Cool, cool, cool. So there's like nothing that way then. So it's this way? Hang on. <laughs> ah, okay, it's like around. Oh, it's like around here and then to the left, I think. What's that on the tree? That's a big ass tree. A ski? What? <laughs> what? This ain't the season for it. It's never the season for it here, I would guess. I mean, no, that's probably wrong. It probably sometimes is the season for it, but it definitely isn't the season right now. Okay, so... Uh... Just coming up to our left. The cache will be up here. Somewhere, maybe around here. Uh, 
Ooh. Here? God, slow down. Please. Uh, how far are we? Oh, there it is. Cool. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Your sweet innards. Thank you. What's that added? Oh, all of this stuff. Nice. Nicey nice. Another note. Ron. Really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mum. I've been sitting at that spot for a while, at the THE spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through the bottle of fifes instead. <laughs> Miss you, Dave. Keep. What else have we got? Oh my god. Terminal 7. Oh, with the T of Terminal being a 7. Oh, Richard Sturgeon, now a major motion picture. Wow, you're doing all right for yourself, aren't you? Oh man, that's actually quite hard to read that text. Thanksgiving South Canary Airport is packed to the gills with travellers eager to ditch the dreary metropolis for the holiday. And a group of Soviet terrorists has ensured that nobody is going anywhere. <laughs> when... A former South City cop turned world-class detective, Neil Black, can... Oh, I've, I think... I don't know what that first word is, actually. Can cut through the red tape, uh, give the hostages a fighting chance. While the FBI is ready to start World War III, Black knows the only person who could have orchestrated this act of terror. And it's not Ivan. <laughs> Who's Ivan? <laughs> Starring Michael Keaton with Kurt Russell? Wow! Quite the star-studded cast. Whee! The accidental saviour. Oh my god. Two in one. Oh wait, no, this is different. Terence L. Greenbrier. Not just another James Bond. 65 cents. Whee! Old to toilet paper. Jane Eyre. That's a bit more normal. One chance to die. Oh, it's a rich. <laughs> it's a Richard Sturgeon book. The first book in Crime by the Numbers. Crime by the. Oh my god. Author of the best selling Spectrum spy series. One chance to die is the book that started it all. Most effective but least known detective. Oh man. Internal affairs. Buddy, a high stakes game of chicken. He's the only one willing to take the risks to stop the killer in his tracks and do what nobody else can put South City in the black <laughs> oh you know what time it is it's wee time cool okay I think we've I think we've <laughs> exhausted the possibilities of that one I like that they've written these <laughs> like books into the story a whole series of books that's pretty good you know it's not pretty good the stuttering <sighs> I am enraged. What the hell? A snowmobile? And skis back there. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. On account of all it's the like snow. Poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Ah. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Huh? Stripped engine. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. He's bad to the bone. weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Okay. Wow, nice pond, yo. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign Pork up for it, pond. but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? <laughs> it's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Pork Pond. <laughs> hmm. Hello, is this... 
The place? Camp... Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. Nice name. Oh, hang on. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. You're gonna w oh, maybe there? Yeah, probably there. I'm not sure jumping a ravine is ever the best idea, though. It's gotta be here, though, right? Just like, uh... Hey, very nice. We are good. What is this? Nothing to say about that. Okay. So. This way. Indeed. <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm not gonna lie, crazy. Delilah. Maybe you just ask him to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can yeah, find. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't look like there's anyone here. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. <laughs> no, I bet. Brian Goodwin. Or, well, wow, yeah. If forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Like? What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. <laughs> Ugh. Wizards and hey, wyverns? Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Tell me, recite hey, them. Planar Dragon's armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. No! I want to hear. How dare. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. The what? For the past 35 years, yeah. What the fuck's a weeblo? Nothing. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. <laughs> That's messed up. Nah, they deserve it. How dare they exist? Uh, anything else? I want to be careful not to miss anything. That looks pretty good, though. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. So, uh, ooh. Hello. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. All right. It looks like an axe. Smarty to me. pants. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yes. Indeed. Lovely. Can I hit with it? No. Hmm. Hello? Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Let's hmm. find out. Uh, next few days. Oh, okay. Uh, Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Squad Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Rich Slusarenko. Is dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at... Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Hmm. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. Your mother was right. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I've just realized that you can walk around and see your own feet. 
And that's both weird and cool. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Well, you're not. I'm infinitely complex. <laughs> infinitely complex. But why record us? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like... Slide to the left. Oops. Slide to the right. Yeah, that's what I think. Crisscross. Agreed. <laughs> I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Are you still Henry? doubting me, Delilah? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Return to Wapiti Meadow. Let me guess. How to use the axe? Indeed. Oh, it's just, it's just like jumping, just a, uh, uh, oh, what's the word? I remembered it when I said it about the jumping thing. A something prompt. A contextual prompt. There's the one. Uh, oh boy, how we... Ha ha! Timber! Nailed it. Anything else to see around here? New... Oh, hang on. What's this? Ah, Can't go this way. It looked like a little hidden secret. Okay. Uh, wait, where did I... Where did I leave the tree? Over here. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! Nice. <laughs> Well done. Oof. Uh, hang on. Where am I actually going now? Back home, I guess. Oh, I just need to follow this path. I think. Are you there? I I had a thought. I'm Let's always here, Delilah. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed, or you are. At least, where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Uh, what the heck was that? Did you just cough? No. Oh, no. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um... There isn't any way someone like uh, would be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? Got it. I will call you. Got it. Oh, okay. We're jumping back. Day 77. Ooh, oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez, Rick. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Thorough Those are some power. This is two forks Harry calling legs. you for the oh fiftieth time today. <laughs> she said she'll the call you, my dude. Continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? <laughs> uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry... We have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. 
You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Uh, why? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Cottonwood? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Uh, okay. So we're trying to confuse the person listening in. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Because they won't know what... Like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. ...what that is. But then if they're... The you get there. If they're stalking us, then it wouldn't really make a difference, right? Wedding ring? Aww. What's he writing? We can't read it. 20 sided die. Never to be seen again. Uh, okay, right. So, uh, cottonwood, right? Where's the cottonwood tree? Wait, where's my map? Do I have to be outside to get my map out? Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No. No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. I wonder why not. What would be the downside to putting out a fire? Oh, hang on. I might have just pressed down on the D-pad instead of up. That might be why I couldn't get it out. Uh, pork pond big tree? Was it that tree? Is there some somewhere else with that? On it. Uh, maybe it is the big tree. Oh, yeah, it's called Cottonwood Creek. Okay. So, how are we getting back there? <laughs> Let's find out. My face when it teleports us back to our tower, just to tell us to go back to where we were. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That feels like a bit unnecessary. And it feels like it wouldn't need to feel unnecessary if they just had made it anywhere else on the map that you have to go right now. Uh, right, which way, which way, which way? Let's head over a little bit this way and then see if it tells us that this is... Is this something we can drop down? Uh, is this the correct path? Hmm? That looks like something I could jump. Hmm. I need to find any path and then I can pull my map out. Okay. And see if it's the right one. Is it the right one? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Good. Forward march. There's one ominous looking fire. Wee. Man, it is very pleasant. Like, I can kind of see why someone would take this job, but then at the same time, it's like, oh, yikes. Would you really? Would you really want to be on your own out here? For exactly the reasons that are occurring. Spooky, scary times. Spooky, scary skeletons. Send shivers down your spine. What a great song. Uh, it was right, wasn't it, the big tree? I mean, I'd see it if it was left. Right has a hill blocking it, pretty sure. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Spooky, scary, spooky, scary, 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 boop, 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 boop. Right, I'm here. Sup. With the ski. A tree and his ski. This was 
Where you want me to go, right? I'm not being dumb. Conwood Creek, yeah. Hmm. Do I have to, like, cut it, or...? No, that wouldn't make sense. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Done it. I guess the creek's the actual river. Do I have to, like, jump in the river? Ha ha! I'm in... I'm in Cottonwood Creek, Delilah. Oh, I see why it's called... Oh, that's cool. That's nice. What was that? Didn't I, I could have sworn. It might have just been that I saw the tower, the other tower, through the trees or something. But I could have sworn something popped up then. That was weird. Okay. Oh, finally. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. Uh, I already opened it, didn't it I? It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. What did you change it to again? <laughs> Seriously? It's nerve Five, six, here. seven, eight. <sighs> it's five, six, seven, eight. Which you can also attribute to rack nerves. <laughs> What's new, Scooby Doo? What if Scooby don't? Oh, hello. Well, yeah, let's obviously not say that out loud. Uh, I found what you left me. But I mean, call me back with when you have it. But we thought we were being stalked, right? I'm still tense. I'm just going to get twatted in the head out of nowhere. So they'll just see us take this. Three blind rats. Richard Sturgeon! When FBI informants need protection, you call the police. When those informants wind up dead, you call Neil Black. Except, is that a typo? It looks like it says Nail Black. Like N-A-A-L. Maybe my eyes are deceiving me. Uh... When Neil is stabbed in the back, who will be the one holding the carving knife? One thing's for sure, it's not the farmer's wife. Get in the river! Oh my goodness. Right. New radio. Maybe we can throw my dude off the scent. Or my lady, potentially. I feel like a lady probably wouldn't be running around the forest hitting us in the back of the head, though. So it's probably a dude. Uh, let's find out what happens next time. Thumbs up, smiley face. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time for more. See you then.